Dead by Daylight appeals to people in a very real, visceral way. Today, Dead by Daylight is an amazing, living thing. And we want Dead by Daylight to be accessible to everyone. When it comes to the dream, it was, I mean, it was very simple. It's just put Dead by Daylight on, in a mobile phone. There is nothing else and make it the best experience possible. Dead by Daylight used to have that limitation of you have to be home and you have to have a gaming setup. With mobile, we, we've had the opportunity to take that experience and make it something you can experience at any time, anywhere. Offering the same thrill, chills, iconic characters, horror, in a smaller package than on PC. Making sure it has that tension for Dead by Daylight, making sure that you have contr the control you want to have and that you're able to really feel in the game. Quand on joue, il y a une telle concentration, toutes nos émotions convergent vers ce petit écran. Les joueurs, quand ils vont être en train de jouer, quand ils vont commencer à rentrer dans ce stress-là, quand ils vont commencer à avoir le cœur qui bat, ils vont oublier tout ce qui est autour d'eux. Donc, peu importe la grosseur de leur écran, même si c'est sur un petit mobile, ils vont être tellement concentrés sur leur jeu qu'ils vont sentir l'expérience à 100%. Of course, we have to work with this constraint that, okay, we have the same graphics, the same controls, the same gameplay. So we have to make it fit all on a mobile device. We acquired a bunch of devices that our player base was using to be able to debug and test it, but there's so many of them that we have like the drawers full of devices. QA is right now, it's very important. We're trying to get a lot of content in before the release. We challenge every feature and every content of a game to check what the behavior of the game will react when we go uh, the wrong way or we go uh, in a direction that the game did not anticipate us to go. We're very data-driven, right? Yeah. We've been looking at like dashboards and tableau reports and everything yeah. just to determine <laughs> yeah, if players are having enough progress or yep. too less progress, are they having fun, are the segments right, what are each different cluster of players doing. Like, There are so many different types of players, we have to cater to it. And we made the hard decision of making it free to play. So my challenge here, I think, is more of not letting players feel that we're pressuring them into buying stuff. They will not have to pay to progress in the game. Yeah, nor to win. I think we have a great team spirit because also everyone who's joined is like really ecstatic and happy to be working on the project. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you do bubble tea orders every Thursday, and like, I think everyone loves that. I needed that. an excuse to just <laughs> order bubble tea. And you have to like order like 40 people's <laughs> bubble tea. Which is formidable because it gives really the feeling of an independent team. Like if we were a little studio at the inside of a big studio. We're so lucky to work with a team that is uh, diverse, very passionate about the game. We don't have to do this pousser de plus en plus loin, de plus qu'on va. J'en ai tous des enfants, là. <rire> les blagues, les inside jokes euh, qu'on qu se fait entre nous, là, genre, c'est une, une sorte de petite famille, là. 50% of us are women. Everyone's so passionate and talented, and I think everyone brings something unique to the table. And we had huge ambition for the game that we all love. Uh, the attention to all those details uh, made the mobile experience resemble like the, the core game's experience, which is beloved by the players. We've been really lucky to have an overwhelming amount <laughs> of players, even in beta. And it's been really helpful for us to build uh, the game even better. It's kind of exciting that we're, we are that close now to the community to be able to get their feedback and help us out, you know? We're in a, a position where we can literally take that feedback, take it back to the team and work on solutions yeah. for that. We never have reached where we are now without all of these wonderful people. Yeah. I really want to thank our players in Beta because they've been so supportive even though we've been in Beta for such a long time. It is very exciting to be able to finally put out our months and months, even years of yeah. hard work out there. I'm not gonna lie, I am scared. I am scared, but also I am sure we're going to have a great game that people will love. We actually have build reviews where we show it on the big screens, and it's like when you see it on the big screen, it, it feels like the, you know, like the, the real game, like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's so detailed. It's like and we're part of that. We're all like we're playing together, you're really like new experiences experience par rapport à ça. You can really tell your friends, like, hey, come on, we're playing a game of Dead by Daylight Mobile. 
it's amazing how much we can put uh, something so big, Anna. something so complex, yeah, with so many device. elements into something so small. I really see the game going forward as another way to play the DB experience. We're here, mm. we're ready. We push through it as a team, and I think it's made mobile really strong. Mm. Um, we're a fairly small team and we're going to grow, but we have that foundation of the team. It makes it even more exciting for the future. Right now we're about to uh, press the button to really to make the game go worldwide. It's been a, a hell of a ride, so uh, I just wanted to thank everyone. Yay! Mobile is in the hands and pockets of everybody, and right now, a lot of these people had no idea that they could play a game like that by daylight and once they realize that it's it's gonna it's gonna catch on it's gonna be like a, a wildfire thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you merci 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 thank you thank you merci